Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Surveyor Legend 203 RKLE travel trailer here. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Surveyor Legend 203 RKLE model here. And we're going to actually start in the rear of the RV and then kind of work our way forward. So first things up, we got kind of a rear kitchen slash half ba or bathroom area back here in the back. So looking against the back wall, there is some cabinet space back here. So you have little cabinet area here it's probably about four or five inches deep and then this one goes way back so you got quite a bit of space there some counter space window does open you have the furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator and your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there three drawers furion oven does have the uh, flip up glass lid here that kind of acts as a backsplash as well. And you also have kind of a cutting board backsplash as well that you can remove. Little cup thing bound down there is also. And you got Furion hood range, light and fan, Furion microwave. Now on the right side back here, you have your bathroom area. So just kind of looking over here, we have the skylight up above little vent fan up there as well, step in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across door for keeping the water and stuff in. Porcelain foot flush toilet, some storage down below here. also have your water heater gas and electric uh, electric buttons here water pump and your monitor panel and stuff for your holding tanks as well little sink area medicine cabinet area and towel area as well and you have a sliding pocket door for privacy back there Little sink area, lots of counter space in this model. There's good size window there overlooking the campsite area. Some more drawers and cabinet space. Overhead cabinet space, pretty good size here as well. Furion radio. TV area and there is some more space up here does have one of the little shock assist things on it on the side of the cabinet here you have some light controls slide controls awning controls and then you have your solar charge controller for the solar panel that's on the roof of this particular unit over on the wall over there is your digital thermostat there's an electric outlet there as well the seating area here will go down and make into a bed so you could sleep an extra guest or two. You also have storage under each seat and they have a little shock assist on them to help you raise them up and down nice and easy. You'll notice on the floor here there is linoleum on the slide floor and throughout. We currently have the front section in daytime mode or so you can kind of kick back, lounge around, watch TV on a rainy day if you're not able to be out and having a good time. You have air conditioner up top, a couple speakers in here as well. There's also a couple drawers below that sofa. Obviously you can see some drawer space on each side. Now I want to show you what this looks like down in bed mode. Real easy to do, so you just kind of remove your little sofa arms here. And then this just flips down and there's a little latch over here. You 
pull down on this latch, drop our mattress down, and we have sleep mode. So there's electric outlet, USB charger ports on each side of the bed. Again, four drawers, actually six drawers if you count the ones below the hanging closet. There is also some storage space back on each side of the bed area. So there's a little cup holder and stuff back there too, so you can kind of put your little personal items back there. Little shelf space up top, little hanging closet area there. And then again, these drawers. There is a roof vent up top there. Fire extinguisher over by your door. You do have a window in the door as well. That is Lippert Thin Shade Ready. There's an aftermarket shade you can buy for that door. Down there is a little dustpan vac, central vac setup. But overall, a really nice little couples coach. It's not super long, super heavy kind of scenario. So this would be great for, you know, some of the newer half ton trucks. Uh, definitely check that out, some of the larger SUVs. All right, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside real quick, then we'll come back in and close her up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Surveyor Legend 203 RK model here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior which is attached to an Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. So you have a nice improvement on fiberglass construction here. Aluminum stud, foam block, insulated sidewalls. You have a black lower metal skirting, power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Across the front here, you have a pretty good size pass-through storage. You can see the griddle there in the box that comes with it as well. There's a motion light also in here. Baggage doors are held up by a magnetic holder and you do have the nicer, larger slam locks. Standard on the unit is four heavy duty scissor jacks. Comes with a little bit you can stick inside a cordless drill gun and zip them right on down. You have the heavy duty more ride entry step. These comes down, touch the ground, rated for 500 pounds. They are adjustable, so you can kind of adjust the legs on them depending on your campsite terrain there. There's also a little light under there as well. You have deep tent safety glass windows. You also have the deep tent safety glass entry door as well. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the RV couple outdoor speakers. You also have a porch light. So you have the LED light strip and the porch light where a lot of brands only do one or the other. TV hookups again there, double axle, easy lube hubs, drum brakes. So make sure you do have a brake controller in your tow vehicle to operate the brakes on the RV. Aluminum wheels. Furnace exhaust out right here, and then you also have up above your stove exhaust out as well. Now here you have kind of a little outdoor mini cook area. Uh, there's a cold water spray port right down below that awning arm there, and this hose plugs into that. There's a little dump sink that would go here, and then your griddle that was in the box would set up right here, and you have your little 110 volt mini fridge also right there. So you got a little bit of area here, set you up a little table or whatever, bring your picnic table by and be able to kind of do your own little cookout outside without having to be in the RV. This one has a ladder on the back here. This ladder is rated for 250 pounds. Um, basically you step up onto your four inch square two bumper, 
and then climb right up onto your ladder to get to your roof. Now looking at the roof of this RV here, you can see a lot of things up here as far as your know, plumbing stack vents, skylights, air conditioner. This one also has a really nice solar panel on it as well. On the back here is also a spare tire mount and cover. Traditional flat back rear end. Up top in the center there, you can see that little black thing up there. That is pre-prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. It's a nice feature to add aftermarket that allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a campsite. Definitely talk with your salesperson about adding that on. Again, a nice feature, good safety thing to have. Power cord hooks up right here on the rear. This is a 30 amp power cord, probably about 25 feet long or so. Uh, so 30 amp electric service, detachable power cord. Looking down below here, you can see low point water drains. Also your gray and black tank dump. And you do have an enclosed underbelly down here also. Black tank flush cable inlet and your city water inlet are right there as well. You have the slide out on this side and this again is a electric slide. This slide is also pre-prepped for a Solair slide topper, which basically is an awning that rolls in and out with the slide as it goes in and out, helps shed away Water, leaves, twigs, debris, helps shade the top of the room. So a nice thing to add to an RV if that interests you. Up here you have the gravity fill fresh water area. So you're basically filling it up here and then down below is a dump down there to actually drain it when you're done using it. Six gallon gas electric water heater right here. The other side of the storage compartment. Now this panel right here on the side comes off. There's four screws that hold it on. And back in behind there is where you get to your bypass and stuff for winterization purposes. Right here we have some very important informational stickers. I want to pop these up for you real quick. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This one has production date, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. It's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also has the length on it as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, uh, basically just telling you how much gear <clears throat> You can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight on the first sticker. Last but not least, tire sticker here, telling you how much uh, air, cold air pressure to put into the tires and also your tire size. But very important to check your tire pressure from time to time. On around to the front side here, you can see it is sloped back. So it is a little more aerodynamic than the traditional flat front RVs. You have the windshield up front, lower metal diamond plate, two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover, power tongue jack has a light and manual override built in. You have two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, and then right here, there is a battery disconnect. There is also room for one or two batteries to go right here. Comes with zero from the RV maker. If you buy from Couches RV Nation, they at least give you one. If you want a second one, talk with your salesperson about that. And then that little yellow thing right there is a transmitter for the tire pressure monitoring system that comes with the RV. Nice feature, again, safety feature there to basically help you know what's going on with your tires when you're driving down the road. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna close it up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Surveyor 203 RK model here. And I just wanna show you real quick what it looks like closed. 
So when you are ready to open or close it, you have to come right back in here to your little control button. Slide in, slide out. The slide is an electric slide. You push a button, it comes in and out. It basically tilts upward a little bit to come in over the subfloor. And again, you just push the button, slides right on in. Very, very important to make sure that there's nothing in the way of the slide. So make sure you sweep your floor before you bring it in so you don't run something over and tear it up. And if you're going out, obviously make sure you check to make sure you're not about to hit a water pole or electric pole or something at the campsite. So you can see here with the slide closed, I can still fully walk through my RV. I have a tight amount of room right here, but I still could technically get to my thermostat for my AC and my furnace, electric outlet down there. My bed could still be in bed mode, so I could come in here and sleep at a rest area or something. So pretty simple. Then when you're ready to go back out, hit the button and take it right on back out. Got full access to your bathroom, your kitchen, pretty much everything that you really need to. And then if you have the room when you get to your campsite and everything, you just hit the button to open it right up and give you a lot of space in here. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more RV videos. And check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.